In today's video we will discuss the sea of fish. Which ones to eat and which ones to avoid. Welcome back to our channel, for smarts, for learning smart things for smart people with easy explanation. Please support channel by like and subscribe. Thank you, let's start. Fish, once considered a highly nutritious food source, has faced challenges in recent decades due to pollution, heavy metals, and farm-raised practices. With conflicting information about the safety of fish consumption, it's no wonder people are confused. In this video, we'll shed light on the fish you should include in your diet and the ones you should avoid. We'll delve into the essential details, including omega-3 content and mercury levels, providing you with a comprehensive guide to make informed choices. First, we need to know the importance of omega-3 fatty acids. Fish is renowned for its abundant levels of EPA and DHA, the long-chain fatty acids found in fish oil. These fatty acids play critical roles in brain function, the nervous system, and eye health. Unfortunately, EPA and DHA deficiencies are prevalent due to decreased fish consumption and the sensitivity of these fatty acids to heat during food processing. Omega-3s in fish versus plant-based sources. While plant-based sources offer omega-3 fatty acids called linoleic acid and linolenic acid, these fats have limited conversion rates to EPA and DHA. In contrast, fish oil provides the final end product, ensuring a higher intake of EPA and DHA. The milligrams of omega-3s derived from fish far outweigh the omega-3 content found in plant fats, making fish a superior source. Now we need to consider second factor, mercury levels and safe consumption. When considering fish, it's crucial to assess mercury levels, as this toxic element accumulates in their bodies. Predatory fish such as tuna and swordfish, which feed on other fish, and larger, longer living fish like tilefish, contain higher concentrations of mercury. Conversely, smaller fish, including salmon, sardines and trout, have lower mercury levels due to their shorter lifespan and diet. Location also plays a role with pollution heavy areas leading to higher toxin concentrations in fish. Now let us discuss the best and worst fish to eat. Avoiding fish with high mercury levels is essential to safeguarding your health. Here are the top 5 worst fish options to avoid. Tilefish. With the highest recorded mercury level, up to 1450 parts per billion, it is best to steer clear of tilefish. Swordfish. Another large predatory fish, swordfish, accumulates mercury, making it unsafe for regular consumption. Shark. Due to its predatory nature and long lifespan, shark meat carries high mercury levels. King mackerel. While mackerel is generally nutritious, the larger king mackerel accumulates more toxins, making it a less favorable choice. Tuna. Various types of tuna, ranging from 350 to 689 parts per billion of mercury, are best consumed sparingly. Now let's explore the top 5 fish options that offer nutritional benefits and are safer for consumption. Salmon. The crown jewel of fish. Salmon combines low mercury levels, 22 parts per billion, with a significant omega-3 content, 2,590 milligrams. Mackerel. Atlantic mackerel. A small fish with 50 parts per billion of mercury boasts the highest omega-3 levels, 2,670 milligrams. Sardines. These small, young fish have low mercury levels, 13 parts per billion, and provide a substantial amount of omega-3s, 1,500 milligrams. Herring. Offering 1,890 milligrams of omega-3s and low mercury levels, 84 parts per billion, herring is a nutritious choice. Trout, freshwater. Freshwater trout has moderate mercury levels, 71 parts per billion, and delivers a notable omega-3 content, 1,070 milligrams. Navigating fish choices. While the above fish options are deemed safe, 
it's essential to use common sense and consider factors like location, farming practices, and personal sensitivities. Avoid farm-raised fish altogether, as they lack the natural benefits of their wild counterparts and may contain higher levels of toxins. In conclusion, fish remains a valuable source of nutrition, providing essential omega-3 fatty acids that support brain, nervous system, and eye health. By choosing fish with low mercury levels and high omega-3 content, such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, herring, and freshwater trout, you can enjoy the benefits of this nutrient-rich food. Remember to balance your fish consumption with other protein sources and use reputable sources to ensure the safety and sustainability of your choices. With knowledge and informed decisions, you can navigate the sea of fish and reap the rewards of a healthy diet. Thank you for watching my video. Please help the channel and support us by like and subscribe. See you soon with more smart videos for smarts.